Well, Darren, that was a great comeback from your team there in the second half. Oh, fantastic. I thought it was entertaining football. Um, you could hear the supporters' voices. I thought the environment was excellent to be in and uh, is exactly what we need uh, this year to complete that objective of making sure we, um, we stay in this league. And you mentioned fitness levels, and I think you perhaps you weren't that happy with the one you took over, but towards the end of that game, Barnett were out on their feet and your team finished really strongly. I mean, I brought Ben Tozer on, who has not had a real run of games. I brought Ify Allen on, who's not had a real run of games. So there's a lot of the team members that Darren Ward has not had a pre-season, has not had a run of games. So to come up against it and not having a pre-season of, of what I would do with the squad, um, it was exceptional. Great effort from the players. And Francois Oko, another player without a pre-season, scored twice and uh, fully justified your faith to keep him on on Tuesday night to complete 90 minutes and keep him on again today. Yeah, exactly. I, I thought you know the changes were positive. I brought Ify Allen on for Foggy, try to leave him high up, attack him on the counter attack. I mean, they're, they're, they played direct football. I mean, one ball, it's you know down your throat. So we had to compete. We had to deal with that. I mean, I feel let down on the on the, the second goal. I mean, uh, I haven't seen it yet, but the linesman was nowhere near in play with, with, with the decision he made. So I don't know how he can make that. Um, so you feel their second goal was offside? Yeah. Well, again, as I said to you, I haven't seen it, but it was right where you know right where I was stood, and um, I'm sure you could see. Uh, the orange shirt before the green, so um, to me that suggests he's offside. But listen, in times of adversity, you find out you know what you're really about, and um, I think you could see that from the players today. And um, if there was any question mark about me being manager of this football club or whether they want that to happen, um, you know, that suggests to me that they want to fight for me. And just say a few words about Francois Zoko. Scored twice today. Can he now kick on from here and become? I mean, the club has needed a striker who's going to score goals regularly. With two today, does he mark himself out as, as that man? I mean, it's important. He done a different warm up than the players the other day. Uh, we were looking at the heart rate monitor readings uh, compared to what the the first team players and and the players like your Darren Wards that have tried to look after. It was completely different readings. So we're trying to do everything we can. Uh, to make sure we're looking at the, the sports science side of it to, to get him fit as quick as possible. And uh, he just showed today what quality he's got. So, you know, we're, we're really pleased with Francois. And that quality show in the second goal in, in particular it was quite some finish, wasn't it? I mean, we, were, we put him under pressure, didn't we? Let's be honest. We put him under pressure. I had Harry Cornick limping around towards the end there where he was feeling his groin, but we told him just to stay, stay central. So Connor had to do double the workload because uh, I used all the subs, so um, yeah, very, very positive. I know perhaps supporters, you know, they wanted that win, I wanted that win, but sometimes in life you don't get everything you want, um, but you have to fight for it, and uh, it may be small marginal gains, but we have to make sure we keep fighting for it um, this year, because there's so much to play for, and if anyone thinks they were just going to turn up at Yeovil Town Football Club in the position that I've taken over with, and it's going to be easy, no chance. Every team's fighting for points, and um, every point matters. And you could see that that fighting spirit will keep us up. It's a small step forward, obviously, extolling lots of positives tonight. But that win is needed, isn't it? That win, there's small positives tonight, but when that win comes, it's going to be so important. Yeah, I don't think we've uh, won since September, if, if I'm right. Correct, yeah. So it shows what we was up against today. If I, if I had to analyse myself and what, what I could do more, but I haven't had time in that's work on the defensive aspect. Um, as you can imagine, I've had three games in a week. Um, I need to stop that. You know, the players need to stop that. They know that. I, was, I said I'd be honest with them. I said I'd, you know, I'd be as much, given much information as what I could without overloading them. And um, they know they've got to stop conceding goals. We have to do that, but that takes time. It takes work on the training ground. Um, but the most positive point today, I think the supporters turned up and they seem entertaining football. Um, I, if I had paid my money today, I, I would have thought I got my money's worth. You've got a clear week now, Leighton Orient next Saturday, but you've got a full week with the players on the training ground. Are you looking forward to that and you'll be able to iron out a few of the things you just mentioned? I've been looking forward to every minute, every second of this job. Um, I love it.
So um, whoever, you know, if there is someone who, who wants to be out there, which I can imagine, they're going to have to have a good scrap with me to get me out of that office now.